You're probably thinking, hey daddy Cornstar, where are we off to now? We, meaning you guys, plus me, we got to run up, drop some papers off at the tax man. There was a couple of figures that he needed. And then what else? Oh, we got to run to the case dealership, pick up some parts that Cooper and Zach ordered. And Zach wanted me to check in on a wooden container for I don't know, eight foot long by two foot wide, foot tall or something to ship some parts over to Argentina. Then we are going to hopefully work on checking the planner over this afternoon. Oh, I'm driving down the road without a seatbelt on, but I'm not on the main road yet, so I'm still good. Ah! All right, there we are. We are law fighting, obeying citizens. All right, I'm here at the tax place. Got to run in some stuff to the tax man i don't know about you guys anymore though but you know sometimes it's just hard with the farm markets and stuff and farming prices go all over the place and this is probably one of the mirrors money's gonna be a little tighter it looks like but we gotta hope for a really good crop try to why is it it seems like when you start maybe getting a little money to pay some bills something there like hey farmers are making some money we're going to raise the price of chemicals we're going to raise the price of fertilizer we're going to take that extra money we don't want you to have it's out of my control so i can sit here and complain all i wanted and you guys would be looking at me like man daddy cornstar is a whiner or we can look at like we got to figure ways to make this work here we go guys i always like pulling into dealerships you can just look around dream and then you see the price tag or hear the price tag and then the dream goes hey i'll dream something a little bit smaller but boy they got some nice equipment here at the case dealership the other day i was over at the john deere dealership getting some parts and i drove around there too and was drooling so i'm just a drooling machinery person all right let's go on in guys check out the business hours here yes we are good and they got some long hours here from 7 in the morning till 7 p.m say that's pretty good service and then if you need emergency service after hours you can actually call them and if it's important enough or something busy enough time of year they'll actually come in after hours we've had that before we would call them and like no 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 we no we want to come in and help you guys so one thing nice did you guys hear the little friendly voice that yelled hello across the so if you owe money, they'll yell, do you have your checkbook? But in this case, it was good morning. Is that what you said? <laughs> good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Hold on. I want to check my time because it could actually be after dinner. Oh, it is after Ooh. Hold on. Hold on. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We'll see if we can find some parts, then we'll head out of here. But this is one nice thing when you go in the case dealership like this. They're always so friendly. I'll show you the part we came up for. This is the big part. I guess it's a little bitty, it's a belt. And that will go on the beacon of our 340K tractor that runs the beacon flashing light. That's what it is. So we had a little trouble finding it. I was expecting it to be something big because I forgot to ask the boys what it was. I had to call Zach. And so we're, we're out of here with a giant size belt. Right now, Cooper and Zach, they're checking over the planner. Cooper's talking to one of the mechanics, trying to get things figured out on the frogs. Occasionally I would break one. I don't know how, if, there, if you went over a rock or something, I don't know, but occasionally I would break one. What, what was that, 14 or 16 or something? The fronts were more. I think the fronts were 14 and the rears were slow. Winter, Whenever man. the last time that was That's right, harvest. Harvest. <laughs> harvest. You can get harvest. Kind of checking everything over here. So far, Cooper and Zach said the planter's looking but we didn't put a ton of acres on it last year. And then maybe, I don't know, it's up to you. I don't know if maybe it's something you'd want to maybe look at to see if we're just an idiot or if we're missing something. Right, right, right. I mean, I may come down and see you guys. Yeah. I mean, it's been a while. It's been a while since I've been down to the, been down there. 
Yeah, because that's true. Sometimes you guys notice something that you know we're blind at looking at. All right, thanks, Jason. Thank you, Jason. Right, Bye. Bye. Well, we're back to scratching our heads. We were just calling the outfit that this came from to see if maybe they had some thoughts. And this is who, where it came from. Super, super good guys to work with. So we just thought maybe they would have some pointers. We're wearing out our frogs on the planter and we don't know why. We gotta replace some pins. Here's their bent. They come out all the time. Then do we have to pinch these in a little closer if they're bending out? Let's see if we find some little pins here. Hmm. And you want the little pins, you can't find them. Hmm. <coughs> Hi, Ellie. There you go. I don't know if you can cut these ones down or bend them enough. I, they're just a little longer. They're okay for size. They look the same, but just longer. Well guys, I think we're gonna call it the night. Cole should be coming home pretty soon. Mama Cornstar just got home, so that vehicle there, we need to get it cleaned up and everything. I got a cousin coming back from Texas, cousin Brett. He's gonna borrow that vehicle for a few days. So I wanna make sure it's all ready to go. But like I said, Cole should be home pretty soon. We can pull him on in. There we go. But we'll go back to the planter tomorrow. I don't know, we're debating on a bunch of the frogs and I'll show you what the frogs are and stuff tomorrow. Well, I'll show you one right now, just in case. These are the frogs. This one broke up here, but we're getting them where they're wearing down really fast in here. These are some stuff that go on the planter. But we'll be going through this thing with a fine tooth comb and hopefully our fine tooth comb doesn't have much wrong with it. You guys have a great night. Ah! Oh! It's getting cold out. I'm getting hungry. Talk to you guys a little later. Are you done with the house yet? Are you done with the house? Are you moving in tomorrow? Are you done? Are you done? Done? Moving in tonight. These are the questions we're going to be asking Cole. If you guys haven't looked yet, get on Cole the Corner Star. Take a look at the house they're working on. They're living at our house right now, so hopefully they don't screw around for too many years and get it done. We get free food while we are here, so. <laughs> All right, guys, let's call it a night. Sorry about that, Cole. I just bumped into him, or he bumped into me, but either way, we bumped. But talk to you guys a little later. That's the end of the video. Let's call it quits. See you on the next one.